Awesome. So uh, I'm Jen Cross, and I'm going to be leading the majority of this workshop uh, for the rest of the day. Um, I am a graduate student at Carnegie Mellon University. I'm getting my PhD in robotics. And in particular, I study educational robotics, which is why I'm here teaching you all. I'm very interested in how robotics can be used with different uh, school materials, out of school learning environments, and how robotics can have a symbiotic relationship with these other course areas uh, for students to improve the learning and engagement in both areas. And I am going to talk to you, for starters, about Arts and Bots, which is what this uh, project that you're going to be working on today is. Hopefully you know a little bit about it already. But if you don't, uh, Arts and Bots, as the name would imply, is the combination of familiar and, uh, Arts and Bots, uh, Arts and Crafts, craft materials, glitter, feathers, foam bo board, what have you. Uh, robotics components that are basically the same robots that you would see in the vast majority of robot kits available. So they're not packaged. We don't believe in uh, concealing technology from students. We like to have it laying out in front of you. You can see every piece and how it works. And finally, a custom visual programming environment that we created so that younger students who have never programmed before can kind of have an easy introduction into the ideas of computer science. Um, and arts and bots, you may be wondering, well, you know, so do I just use arts and bots in my classroom, to, what do I do with it? Um, and that's really up to you. We really like to empower educators as innovators. We like to say, what do you want to do with it in your classroom? Where do you see it fitting in? Um, so that could be, we had an art and music teacher who had the students build pop culture icons. Uh, this is the Beatles uh, Ringo, I believe. Um, in social studies history, they made historical figures um, sort of Around the side, we have, uh, oh, I have a laser pointer. Uh, <laughs> Julius Caesar, Plato, Artemis, Athena, some Egyptian pharaoh, maybe also Plato. They both have beards. Um, I don't really know. Not very good at that. Um, and in science classes, we have a teacher who's doing high school anatomy classes. And instead of just looking at the human skeleton in the classroom, they're actually building their own skeleton models and applying the muscles and making it actuated with the robotics kit. So all the students are making these arm uh, models that they then learn to figure out how the muscles and the bones interact to create motion, which is really cool. Talk to a lot of you guys already, um, and I'm research staff here at CMU. And so one of the things that we're doing, and why we're doing arts and bots, is to understand how this new kind of technology, combining arts and crafts with robotics, can help students learn, can be useful in a classroom, help teachers reach their educational goals. And so the first page on your little packet at the table talks about the research that we're doing. Um, we're trying to study how students gain technological fluency, their attitudes towards like, technology, how that changes, as well as just how it fits into the classroom.